Hey guys, Dave here. Hey, I'm going to show you guys how to clean out your vaporizer. Uh, I'm using the uh, Fireball uh, from Dura Smoke, and it is a pretty thick and gunky kind of. They say not to even use it with plastic because it'll eat it up. So, but as you can hear from here, this ain't as clogged. It's actually not doing a very good job of uh, being able to smoke out of it. So, uh, a lot of the times when you hear it that bad and it's that thick, you can just, you can probably see it right there, how it's even gotten right into the battery itself. So it's got a little bit of a leak issue. So what we normally do is you work on a corner, kind of bunch it up a little bit so it'll fit in there just like that. Give it a little bit of press. If you press too hard, you can actually end up pressing the battery um, in with. And you can see from that, that's just the liquid that was sitting down on it. Usually I just tear it off so I can keep using the new corner. Keep getting in there and get all that stuff out. Again, too hard might cause you an issue where you'll end up having to uh, stick something down in there to uh, pull it out. So normally I get a little flathead screwdriver and you just end up pulling it back up if you have that problem. So. All right, so that's uh, that's the inside of the battery. Don't forget to clean the outside. As you can see, it's pretty clean right there on my uh, towel. Now you can see where it built up just from you know the threads and, and so forth. So that's just the battery so far. So now we're going to get into the bottom where the clarimizer is, the, the vaporizer, atomizer, whatever. Uh, so again, I ball this up, but I ball it up a little uh, softer. You know, not packing it so tight when I start balling it up. Okay, rotate it in there a couple times. And pull out whatever gunk that's built up. It's a little drippy on the outside too. Now with this version, it's a little tougher to clean because you actually open up the, uh, the bottom of it. Because it's upside down right now. Pull it out. And you can see the vaporizer has a lot of gunk uh, up here, which is showing that it's actually leaking. So we'll set that down. We'll end up cleaning that off pretty well. And this still has my vapor in it. So for now, I um, have another towel. I clean out the threads on the inside. I don't want to shove it all the way down there because of my liquid still being in there. But if you're wanting to dump it out and whatever, you can, you can get down there a little easier with using this and a little piece of towel to get down there a little farther so but for now I'm gonna go ahead and set this to the side and concentrate on the uh, atomizer here right, try to do a good job of cleaning this off it's probably about time for me to replace this but hold on the top here grab the bottom you'll see it just a couple spins comes right out this is a complete brass fitting so you can easily clean this. There's there's a single ring on there right there if you can tell where my fingernail would be. So this should be nice and easy to clean off. Just rub off the threads, keep it from leaking because it gets a little bit of a buildup. All right, so that's nice and clean now. And back over to here. Now this actually comes out again if you want to go this far with it, but it takes a little bit of back and forth, and you're able to pull the uh, the top from the actual. There's where the uh, actual copper or the wire is. I don't know if it's actually copper, but they have a wire in there that's around this um, cotton right here. It's not one of those really long cotton kind. So. You want to be careful not to pull it out. I mean, you can always put it back, but it's a real pain in the butt from this point. So you can see the amount of liquid that was just resting in there. That's where we're getting a lot of that slurp. So you're just wanting to dry it out some. We'll end up, when we put it back together, we'll take a couple hits off of it to get it, you know, a little wet again. Because if we dry it out too much when we clean it, you can see right there I was pushing it up. Yeah, be careful about that you want to put that right back where it was this is a little deep clean in comparison with some of the nice easy fast cleans but you can see this probably needs to be really replaced 
but for right now I'm just gonna do a cleaning on it because of all the gunk that was in there set that back down right there and bring up our other piece here Get a nice pat dry now this is just a uh, a rubber ring around another piece of metal so you can always pull it back if you want to get a, a little better clean out of it but when you're done pull it backward snaps right into place okay put my piece back in there and snap it back together best you can from this point we're ready to screw this back on here you'll notice if you have a problem putting two pieces together not back together but new pieces if you put a new one in here it doesn't fit right then you you have the wrong atomizer so you need to get the correct one or else you can cause yourself some leaks or issues the other last thing to do here is take a corner of this Yep. let's try that again a corner get nice and straight and long give it a nice hard twist so it's nice long thin and strong from the twist stick that down the center spinning it so you can pull it back out and get the last bit of dirt that was inside that tube there this way you don't have to get it wet you don't have to re uh, soak it and let it dry and all that kind of stuff now we've pretty much just cleaned all the necessary parts now like I said you're going to take a few without pressing the power take a couple hits off of it so that it pulls it back into that threading and then once you've done that uh, a couple primes to get it in there then you can uh, press the button and take a hit nice smooth hit no uh, clog in there uh, so that's how we clean it out without having to let it dry out and spend weeks or not weeks but hours letting it dry out or even a 24-hour period so a couple minutes with just uh, some paper towels and you're all good thanks for watching guys